my name is Elizabeth Ellis, I'm Head of Classics at Queen's and what better place to study classics than in Dewa, the Roman city of Chester and we're really lucky, we've even got a bit of Roman wall in our yard and over the years we've been uh, lucky enough to acquire various artefacts, a few pots, oil lamp, all from Roman Chester so we're really living the heart of classics. When girls join in year seven they all start a foundation course in classics to learn what it's all about. So it's the study of the ancient worlds of Greece and Rome. So at the beginning of year seven, we start looking at myth and the nature of the gods. And we are this year taking part in a national competition based on Ovid's Metamorphoses, which are stories based on changes of shape. And they're going to produce an artifact who's going to be made in an earlier year. Um, based around one of the stories, but they might want to do an animation or a bit of creative writing. Hopefully we might be successful and win something. Um, right then, and then we also give them an opportunity to have some taste of Latin sessions. Um, so learning Latin as a language um, is really important because it's the foundation of so many of our Western European languages and it really teaches you how language works, how grammar works, and vocabulary, obviously supporting uh, English vocabulary and uh, French and Spanish, which also the girls learn here. When we get to the end of year seven, um, girls can opt to carry on with Latin, and as a language, we use the Cambridge Latin course, which has got a really excellent website supporting it. Um, it's uh, a course that follows a real family who lived in Pompeii um, just before the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. So the stories all build up to the final eruption and the sad demise of quite a few of them. When we get to GCSE, we offer both Latin and classical civilization. So if you carry on with Latin, for the first time you'll be reading real literature, so real poetry written um, in the ancient worlds and um, some history writing. If language isn't for uh, you, then there's an opportunity to carry on with classical civilization, which is in translation, exploring the literature, the arts, um, and the history. We go as far back as the Bronze Age and the Mycenaean Age, 1600 BC, and then right up to um, the Roman Empire in the early centuries AD. So it's a really wide course. It's uh, obviously uh, supports historical source material skills. Um, uh, supports essay writing skills um, and it is really generally very interesting and every year we do have uh, students opting to carry on with classical civilization and Latin sometimes both subjects to A level and to university and every uh, few years we have students carrying on for Oxford as well which is a testament to the girls hard work but also their enthusiasm for the subject. The um, extracurricular uh, options we are able to offer is also some ancient Greek it's really exciting looking at a brand new alphabet, it's like decoding. Um, so we offer that from year seven. We have girls off timetable as a stretch and challenge opportunity, carrying it through to GCSE if they wish. It's, it's great, I love Greek. It's really exciting to be able to teach it. So I hope that this gives you a little taste of what we in the classic department are able to offer. And we really hope that we can see you in person sometime soon.